Hello everyone, my name is Adam Repos Box. Welcome back to another Ubuntu 16.04 tips video. I turned my headphone volume up way too loudly. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your terminal a couple different ways. So you have your default terminal, and then I actually have an an alternative terminal for you that I'll show you how to use as well. So get ready for that. But if you haven't already, check out the playlist in the description below where you can see all of my Ubuntu content coverage this weekend as it's Ubuntu weekend on the channel and I'm trying to cover as much as I can about the new release. But here I'm going to show you how to customize this boring plain Jane terminal and try out a new one. This is of course a terminal emulator. This is where you do all of your command line stuff. So right click it, go to profiles and profile preferences. Over here you're going to give it a profile name. We'll call it tutorial because I'm doing it here. Now you can set the initial columns and rows of the terminal to make it start out a bit longer. So if we want to make it start out like three times or 2.5 times as long, we'll do like 36. Uh, cursor shape can either be a block, an I-beam, which is just a line, or an underline. I actually quite like the block format. Terminal bell, that's an audible jingle, I believe, or when something happens. I can't, I don't know if I can emulate that at the moment. Allow bold text. You can enable or disable that. You can see where it says Adam at Ubuntu top. Can get bold or unbold depending on formatting within there. Rewrap on resize. Absolutely want that enabled. Or if you want text to just automatically go to the next line. If you're doing some text editing stuff that is very specific about line placement, you may actually want it to not do that. But I do. And then you can actually change the font to be something else. Monospace bold. Monospace italic. Italic. Nanum gothic. So you can have it be something other than the boring like default terminal font of everything. I can select that font. Okay, that looks horrible. Um, <laughs> let's not use that font. Let's use, what about that one? Okay, they, that one looks bad too. Okay. Can I uncheck custom font? Yeah, just go back to the regular. Uh, command. You can run command as a login shell. You, you don't entirely want to do that. Run a custom command instead of your shell. Um, so you can, I believe, tell it to... believe you can tell it to run a different terminal emulator, but you can just add shortcuts for that. When command exits, when it just finishes, you can either tell it to exit the terminal, restart the command, or hold it open. I'm going to tell it to hold it open. That means, kind of like, this, this actually happens more often on Windows than I'd say Ubuntu, but if you run like a .bat batch file of a script, it'll, like if it's not set properly, it will just automatically close the command prompt when you're done, and you have no idea what it just did. Well, this tells it to automatically hold it open. And I want to make it a little bit longer. So let's make it 45 rows. Go over here to colors. Use colors from system theme, or you can change it a little bit here. Uh, let's make the background color a little bit of a brownish. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't... Can I... There's no eyedropper for this kind of thing. I don't know why that won't go away. Sure, let's try that. It kind of matches. It looks a little obnoxious, though. So I'm going to just go... Black on white. Ah, no, that burns. Black on light yellow. That looks stupid. Gray on black. White on black. I'm just going to go white on black. Default stuff there. You can customize the palette scheme here. I'm going to do Linux console. Actually, that doesn't look entirely great. X term? Sure, let's go with X term. Just color settings. Make it look fancy. Scrolling, you can show the scroll bar or not. Scroll on output to automatically have it scroll. Scroll on keystroke. Uh, you know, have it. Scroll with the arrow keys, and then compatibility. What the backspace does, what the delete key does. By default, it delete or it escapes the sequence encoding. Unfortunately, you don't have Windows 10 like command prompt customization where you can change the opacity and then allow it to uh, use Control C to copy and things like that. Yeah, it doesn't do all that. All right, so that's how you customize that terminal emulator. But we're gonna, but I prefer. A different one that looks kind of cool it doesn't look great at 4k but here at 1080p 60 it actually looks quite well or quite great it's called yeah quake yeah yeah quake it is a terminal emulator to look like the the little terminals from the quake game quake being the first person shooter that was prolific for most of my childhood i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these webcam icons we don't need them right well right now as well as the normal terminal all right so i already have it launched so I'm just going to click launch. Hit F12. Okay, it's not actually launching yet. 
I'm gonna go over here, hit yak, there it is. Launch it. And then you can set a custom command key for it to automatically pop down from the top of your screen. It's pretty cool. Um, so by default it's F12, I'm gonna leave it at F12, and you can change it anytime via the menu. If you right click, you can change profiles, edit the current profile, and again, you can do different stuff. So you can have it do stuff other than bash. That's what the other one meant by running other commands. So this is the default bash shell. Uh, you could have it do other stuff. You can change the initial directory. You can change the icon. Uh, you can change a lot about it. I'm just going to kind of leave it, leave all this at the default. If you're a programmer, coder, hacker, you know what you're doing. You got different color schemes here. By default, it's on Linux colors. I'm going to do white on black. Actually, I'm going to leave it at Linux colors for now, I suppose. Green on black looks really cool. That's the kind of like hacker version. I got, you know, the cliche hacker version, I guess. I'm going to leave it on that, actually. Again, you can customize all that. Uh, change what kind of keyboard you're using or how it renders the key keystrokes. Uh, paste from selection or paste from clipboard. That's the middle mouse button will paste, so that's really useful. So yeah, just pasted bin bash. And blinking cursor, that is what I want. And I'm actually going to change the appearance back to Linux colors. Click apply. You can. It's got font smoothing and things like that as well. And OK. And then once it goes away, I hit F12. Oh, now nah, that actually closed it. Okay, it's a little finicky. Um, all right, now it's successfully started. So all I gotta do, anytime I'm doing anything, so I'm gonna open up Firefox here. Yada 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 yada. F12. I have a terminal. sudo apt get update. Type in my password. Boom. Repository is updated. F12. Close it. Okay. Close Firefox. Do something else. Blah blah blah. F12. Now, of course, you will have to open it anytime you want to do that. So then you can go here, as I covered in a previous tutorial, if you want more details about it, but go to your startup applications, add a new one. Terminal. Yeah, quake. And add it. And then if we log out and log back in here real quick, it will automatically show up when we log back in. And I do have sound working for this now. So that's a good thing. There we go. Oh, of course, the capture card's freaking out on me. Now! Why you do? Trying to make a video here. Why you do this to me? Yes, I'm leaving this in because people are flawed. People have issues with things sometimes. Sometimes things don't work out as planned. I see it flickering. Is it coming to life? No, it's not. Oh, haha. -ha. These are technical problems, people. Instead of asking everyone how to do something, sometimes, or posting about things not working, sometimes you have to troubleshoot them yourself. There it acted like it was going to work. One moment, please. How many moments do you one please need? Configure video. It knows there's a signal. Okay, well you got the gist of this. I'm not gonna waste your video time. Hitting F12 brings it back up, adding it to the startup, does it. it, it it's showing for me. I don't have any way of proving it to you because it's not showing up, but that's okay. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it. If you made it this far into the video, put like hashtag Elgato fail or something weird like that. Hashtag technical difficulties. Something like that in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe for more awesome tech videos. Check the link in the playlist description below. No, check the playlist link in the video description below for more awesome Ubuntu videos, and I will see you in the next one. My name is Fanatic Fox. Happy Ubuntu week.